All right, I think <laughs> I think we are good to go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna restart right now. I'm gonna restart. <laughs> there are very little things that we can know for absolute certainty. Mm -hmm. Right, like I, absolute certainty is actually not a standard of knowledge at all by any serious philosopher. I want to say by any philosopher. Because if you made absolute certainty your standard of knowledge, the, the most you can go is a form of skepticism. You wouldn't be able to say much about knowledge-wise. So what philosophers have done for all of history, essentially, is justify knowledge, uh, sorry, is to define knowledge as justified true belief. So um, what is knowledge? It is a belief you have that is true and it's got justification. It meets three criteria. Um, because of a gentleman named Simon Gettier who found a problem with these three things, uh, in recent times, philosophers have thought about adding a fourth condition or at the very least qualifying the true condition. Uh, but that is what knowledge is, justify true belief. Uh, it is not certainty. As a matter of fact, if we sat here and I asked you whether you were certain that you existed, you'd have a very hard time with it. Mm -hmm. And what, what would that mean? That you just don't know anything? It's like, are my children my children? Right? It's like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to walk around being super skeptical. Gives me anxiety. Um, right? Like, yeah, like it, it just, <laughs> it, it, it's a very silly way to live. Imagine like going to work and doing your job and then your boss is supposed to pay you and you go and you say, hey, boss, you didn't pay me. Where's my paycheck? And he goes, well, I'm not absolutely certain that you did all this work. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to like that's I don't have knowledge. So you're not going to get like existence would be extremely difficult. And I don't need to be um, absolutely certain that Christianity is true. Uh, what I need is justify true belief. Um, so they're, they're in, in epistemology, which is the study of knowledge, we have uh, kind of levels, certainties all the way at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there's something beyond, uh, underneath that called the evident. These would be things that are like self-evident. I would say like your own existence would fit into this category. Um, and then uh, most things would fit in the category underneath that, which is beyond reasonable doubt. And so uh, when you asked me, can I be wrong? Well, it's a funny thing asking a philosopher whether something's possible. <laughs> uh, plenty, of, plenty of things could be possible. Could I be wrong? Uh, is it possible for me to be wrong? Yes. Uh, but I think Christianity is true beyond a reasonable doubt. Thanks so much for watching that clip from the Why Jesus podcast. If you want to see the full episode, click right here. And you can also find us on all streaming services. God bless.